what's going on guys we are back the london teams are set but the world championship teams are not just yet so we are gonna try and explain what exactly needs to happen for some teams that are not at london to possibly make the world championship this will be a pretty quick video nothing too crazy just going over what needs to get done for the teams that are at london to clinch their world championship spot we'll do probably a power rankings tier video is probably what i want to do next for the london major itself so keep a lookout in the next few days for that one but let's get into it we're going to our famous powerpoint slides um and let's just break it down so world's scenarios obviously teams that are not at london cannot acquire any more points but some of them are right now in a world championship spot so the teams that are in london that are behind them have to gain a certain amount of points in order to pass them there's a few tiebreakers that could possibly happen as well i don't know exactly when those tiebreakers would be played because there's no more online events so who knows will they be on the main channel i don't know hopefully i get to work them that would be a lot of fun it'd be really hype uh but I honestly i have no idea uh if that does happen uh when they will occur so uh, just getting those questions out of the way first so first let's talk about who has clinched what seeds that they can possibly clinch at and then the other teams fighting for spots so it's gonna be a lot of uh information on one tab here but let's just go over it so uh, these are in no particular order like i didn't see them based on their regional or like based on where the world championship seeds will be um i just kind of wrote them out uh the parentheses next to any of these names is the spot that they have clinched regionally um so g2 they have clinched the number one nac that doesn't mean they'll be number one overall i believe they'll be number two overall i'm not sure if that changes i didn't really look into it too hard swiss is kind of like a weird thing where like Seed matters a bit, obviously, for round one matchups, but at the end of the day, to make that playoff bracket, um, it won't matter as much. At the World Championship, though, it does matter just slightly more because if you do finish in that top four, you will begin the World Championship bracket in the upper bracket, and then there'll be a lower bracket as well. So um, until there's top four, then, then everyone has one life. So it does matter slightly more, but it still is not a huge deal. But anyway. Uh, first, let's go over the NA teams. They have all clinched. There's four of them. G2, Gen G, Space Station, and OG. G2 is such a massive lead, they cannot get lower than the one seat, even if they come in last uh, at London. Gen G, Space Station, and OG are fighting over the two through four seeds. Gen G has a pretty big lead, so very likely they'll be the two seed. Space Station and OG are relatively close. They could flip-flop uh, between three and four. That is very likely to happen. Uh, Vitality, BDS, and Gentlemates have clinched. I didn't write these in a particular order, but Gentlemates slightly has enough points to not come into the fourth spot. That's only if like Oxygen does really, really well. Um, they can only be seated one through three. Very likely though, Gentlemates, Vitality, and BDS are so incredibly close in points that they will be battling for the seeds one through three um, for Europe. Those three teams from Europe have clinched. There is one spot open, which we'll get to in a little bit. Mina, Falcons have clinched the number one seed in Mina. Furia for Sam, number one seed is clinched. Power, for OCE, the number one seed has been clinched. And Gaming Gladiators, there's only one spot in APAC. They have clinched the spot. They will have the number one seed for APAC. Now, those are your teams that have clinched. That is 11 teams. There is five spots open at the London Major to see who goes to the World Championship. The teams on the left are the teams that are participating in the London Major. The teams on the right have more points than them and are not participating uh, at the London Major, so they are hoping the other teams do poorly. Um, really quick, uh, Oxygen, they can be seated anywhere from 1 through 4 uh, as of now. I believe it's still 1 through 4. Uh, now that I think about it, not all three European teams can come in last, so that might be 2 through 4, but I didn't really look too closely. But technically, I think they could still get number 1. Um, it's close. It's 1 or 2. So one through four um, is available for Oxygen. K Corp, though, they can only get fourth. Um, that's if they make it. Uh, Chiefs and Pioneers are battling for the two seed. Secret and Complexity are battling for the two seed. Twisted Minds and Anything, the uh, two seed as well for Mina. And Mobula and Limitless are, are competing for the number one seed in SSA. So five spots open for grabs. What do these teams at London have to do in order to get them? Let's go into that now. 
Scenarios. Here we go. Oxygen versus K Corp for the spot. Uh, they will clinch by making the grand finals. If they finish top two, they are in. They will get the spot over K Corp. It's only one or the other will make the world championship in the parentheses for all of these. So just keep that in mind. There is no playing for regional spots anymore. There's none of that. So, like, every region has a locked amount of spots at the world championship. It's the same as the majors. So, NA and Europe get four. Then Mina, Sam, and OC get two. APAC and SSA get one. I think I did that right. Um, Chiefs versus Pioneers. Chiefs will clinch with two wins in Swiss. That's finishing ninth through 11th. Uh, they will be eliminated with anything lower. Secret versus Complexity. Team Secret will clinch with two wins in Swiss. They will play a tiebreaker if they only get one win in Swiss. I don't know when that would be. And because obviously the other team's not going to be at the land, so it's going to be online at some point. Who knows? Uh, but they will be eliminated with anything lower, which is only one thing lower that's coming in last for Team Secret. Twisted Minds versus anything. Twisted Minds can clinch with a fifth place, which just means make it to playoffs. You know, it's a tie for fifth. Um, tiebreaker with two wins in Swiss, and they'll be eliminated with anything lower. Last time around, uh, anything was rule one. Uh, they only got one win in Swiss, so Twisted Minds have to do slightly better there. Um, so we'll see how that all pans out. Then Team Mobula versus Limitless. Uh, Team Mobula will clinch with a tournament win, a first place. Uh, tiebreaker if they make the grand finals and they'll be eliminated with anything lower. So percentage chances here, right? Let's break it down. Oxygen will clinch making it to the grand finals. Um, so this one's tough, right? Cause you would say it's unlikely, right? But gentlemates was just the EU four seed and they just won the entire tournament, right? They won the Copenhagen major first time it's ever happened. To be fair, uh, European four seed has made it to a grand finals before. I think only once. I could be wrong here. That was moist in what was that place? Rotterdam, I believe it was Rotterdam uh, at the fall major. Um, I think that was the only other time. I could be wrong. Fact check me in the comments below. If not, just say I'm beautiful in the comments below. It helps the algorithm. I think like and subscribe or something. I don't know. Um, so I would give it like a ten percent shot. I would say, which is probably high. I'd probably give it a 5% shot, actually. Um, it's going to be very difficult to make it to the grand finals. Obviously, when you make it to the playoffs, anything can happen. These playoffs actually make it probably more likely for an underdog to make a grand finals because you just never know how the bracket's going to pan out uh, compared to if it's like two losses and you're out or whatever. Um, so I would say like 5%, 5 to 10%. And maybe I'm completely off in my percentages, but that's what I would probably say. Uh, Chiefs versus Pioneers. Chiefs will clinch with two wins in Swiss. Uh, OCE two seeds generally don't do that well. Um, like OCE in general doesn't do that well. I would give this like a 20% shot. Um, I think this is like maybe a 33% shot, like somewhere in there. Like, eh, I'm going to say 20% because like, OC doesn't do that well normally. It really comes down to the matchup in the one and two round, what they get. It but it also really matters what they get in the 0-2 round as well. Because if they get matched up with a, a tough opponent, then they could easily fall 0-3. Uh, so, yeah. I would give it maybe about a 20% shot that the Chiefs will clinch with two wins in Swiss. Um, Team Secret versus Complexity. Uh, clinch with two wins in Swiss. This one I would probably rate higher. I'd probably give this like a... Uh, that's so I'm trying to think that would be 11 teams, right? That'd be 11 teams. Are they the 11th best team at this event? There's obviously all four in Europe. I'd probably put, I mean, maybe three to four in NA is probably in that group in the top 11. Um, team secret would probably be fighting for one of those spots. Uh, power kind of in the conversation. I'd probably put team secret. I'd probably put them about even as well there. Um, uh, Falcons and Furia are over them. So all of Europe, I'd probably put over them. Falcons and Furia. I'd probably put Gen G and G2 over them. Uh, you can look at my Power Rankings uh, video, why I will rate Gen G anyway. Um, so what is that? Eight. It's like 10. That's 
right now we have eight teams that I definitely would put over them. And then they would probably fight with Twisted Minds, the two uh, NA seeds. That's three. Power, I guess I'd put in there too. Um, so you need three spots and there will be five teams there, right? With Team Secret in that spot. I'm trying to think if there's any other teams. Like OC2 is not in it. Uh, APAC and SSA are not in it. Who am I missing? I'm definitely missing probably like an entire region or something. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to say like 50-50. Let's coin flip it. All right? Why not? Because I think I'm somehow forgetting a team or two. Actually, hold on. Let's go up here. Let's actually rank these teams so we can figure that out. So these two I'd put above them. So that's two, three, four, five. I'd probably put oxygen as well. So six. Seven, eight. So that's eight teams. And then who would they be fighting with? Um, so that's one, two. Space Station, like, I don't know, it's tough because OG is good too. So that's one, two. Um, three. Probably wouldn't put Chiefs there. Four. Yeah, so they're fighting with four other teams. So it's five spots. There's only three spots available. So we'll give them a 60% chance to do that. I'll say that. All right, so 60% they do it. One win, I say, is very likely. Probably like 95%. They'll very likely get one win in Swiss. Um, so a tiebreaker at bare minimum for them. And then I think they are just a little bit better than coin flip to take down complexity without even having to go to a tie break, which would then be a coin flip, right? So odds are pretty good for team secret. Uh, sorry that took so long, but I wanted to math it out in my head. Twist of minds versus anything clinch with a fifth place to make the playoffs. I think this is an outlier. This is probably not what would likely happen, but it could definitely happen. I'd probably give this like a 35% shot for them to make it to the playoffs. Uh, tiebreaker with two wins in Swiss. I think two wins in Swiss is pretty likely. Um, I think last time around, rule one fell a bit shorter. I would give it like a 70% shot there um, to see if they'll get a tiebreaker at the very least. Um, yeah. So that's what I would give it there for Twisted Minds versus anything. And the T-Mobile versus Limitless. Clinch with the first place. 0%. Tiebreaker, if they make grand finals, 0%. Eliminate with any lower, 100%. There's no way T-Mobile makes it anywhere close to probably playoffs. Playoffs, I would give them like a 2% shot. I'll give them that. But after that, I, I just can't. I just there's There's just no way. There's no way. A 2% might be high, uh, but I'll give them some type of percent chance to make playoffs. Um, so Limitless, very likely, will be going to the World Championship. The other spots, again, kind of up for grabs. I would say K-Corp is very, very likely, but Oxygen, it could definitely happen. I could see it happening, um, but that's like maybe a 10% shot or so. I think that's what I said. Chiefs or Pioneers, that's pretty, like, that's pretty coin flippy for sure. Uh, like a little bit more towards the pioneer side, uh, secret versus complexity. This one is, um, not very coin flippy, um, but team secret. It could be a tiebreaker, but team secret is the favorite there. Twisted minds versus anything. Twisted minds is oof, like anything is probably favorited here. Um, just because of going to playoffs. I don't think Twisted Minds have a great shot at playoffs. Um, and then obviously anything I think would probably play a tiebreaker. It's close. I guess it's right on line. Like, so honestly, like if I said it before, I said what 35% and 70%, that would give Twisted Minds actually a slight edge in that coin flip by 5%. So I'll give it to them, I guess. And T-Mobile versus Limitless. Limitless is favored there. So that is it. 
shortish video. I kind of wanted to go through the brain process with you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. We will do power rank and tiers next time around. So take uh, keep a lookout for that in the next coming days. Maybe I'll throw that out on Monday or so. Um, but yeah, that'll do it for me. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next time.